Tonight's fight is the 11th championship match to be held in this very building. Now, let's move inside. Promoted by Intercontinental Promotions Incorporated. Between the heavyweight champion of the world, Cassius Clay or Muhammad Ali, and the challenger, Floyd Patterson, the only man in the history of boxing to twice hold the world heavyweight boxing crown. Coming to you live from the fabulous convention center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. A real big one tonight. First two in the ring, uh, gentleman Gene Delmont, who boxed 10 different world champions way back when. Gentleman Gene is now about 70 or 71 years of age, and our good friend Jackie Fields in there. There goes Eddie Fisher. The fans give him a good hand. Rocky Marciano is getting ready to climb into the ring. And then we see the march down, down the aisle. There's Gene Fulmer. There's Floyd Patterson coming down from his dressing room, going into the ring with a red robe, very confident, getting a good hand. Now, while, while Floyd Patterson is resting in his corner, the former champions, there's Sonny Liston up there, are gathered in the neutral corner around Jackie Fields. We have our cameras on Floyd, and that's the idea, naturally. Harry Krause, who will be the referee, is climbing in the ring now. Krause, one time outstanding welterweight and middleweight. There's Cassius Clay being roundly booed. Muhammad Ali, who wants to be known as Cassius Clay, still bouncing and coming, coming around, going up the ring stairs now. Will Billy Kahn come to the ring, please? <laughs> Cassius Clay is to our left from our vantage point. Floyd Patterson to our right. And now let's go up to Ladies the ring. Ladies and announcer. gentlemen, will you kindly rise and remain standing as Eddie Fisher sings our national anthem.
Nice going, Eddie. Eddie, Eddie, you really don't Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to have you meet some of the men who have written boxing history down through the years. From another era, here is gentleman Gene Selma. Gene boxed 10 different world champions dating back to Benny Leonard's time. The former welterweight champion of the world, Jackie Fields. Jackie was the Olympic champion back in 1924. Here is the former middleweight champion, Gene Fulmer. Gentleman Gene Fulmer, always popular around the boxing world. The Pittsburgh Irishman who now makes his home in Las Vegas, the former light heavyweight champion of the world, Billy Kahn. We remember Billy for his great fights with Joe Lewis, a great gladiator of yesterday. The former heavyweight champion of the world, Sonny Liston. Sonny just told us he's got to come back, wants to meet George Chevallo, maybe in Pittsburgh. From Detroit, the fabled Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. Need we so more? From Brockton, Massachusetts, the retired, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. Very popular guy, unbeaten, untied, unscored upon, 49 and 0. Now, Intercontinental Promotions Incorporated, Robert A. Nylon, president, in conjunction with the Silver State Sport Club, Jack Doyle and Mel Greff, co-promoters, and Sports Vision Incorporated present 15 rounds of boxing for the heavyweight championship of the world, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, John Bud Trainer Commissioner, James Deskin, Executive Secretary. The judges assigned here this evening are Harold Buck, Bill Stremmel, the timekeeper, Lou Pearl, knockdown timekeeper, Steve Romeo, the referee, Harry Krauss. Physicians in attendance are, in the red corner, Dr. Donald Romeo, in the white corner, Harold Arkshaw. The principal. From New York City, wearing black trunks, weighing 196 and three quarter pounds, the challenger, Floyd Patterson. <laughs> From Louisville, Kentucky, wearing white trunks, weighing 210 pounds, the heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Both you boys will see this button from here. Mandatory eight count is effect. The three knockdown ruling has been waived. We're trying to pick up Harry Krause's words for both men. Remember until I wave him out. On the inside, when one hand is tied up, I want you to break with it, step back and break clean. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? I'll step back and shake hands with my fighting at the bell. Shake hands. Round one, 15 rounds. World Heavyweight Championship. Now the round begins.
using left hook. Raising. In the first minute of this fight, Cassius Clay seems contempt of just move. Hands very low. timing only about 40 seconds left in the round at this point. That's round one. Very little scoring in round one as we saw it. Muhammad Ali is talking with Angelo Dundee, his manager. Mohammed did very little punching, was content to play, was content to move. Angelo talked hard to the champion. Play is now talking to the crowd, to the $100 ringsiders. ring style. Floyd with ooh, hand tied. Look out, Buster. Clay is running all over the ring. Down. 
Clyde wants to unload or explode his left hook. He's got it cocked right at his suit all the time. But Clay keeps you off balance with the jab. It's a beautiful left jab. Half a minute to go in round two. Closing seconds of the round. And Max Tears help seem to be running Cassius Clay. All ready for round three. Got the best so far thrown in the fight. Beautiful left jab by Cassius Clay. And don't kid yourself, Roy's not an easy target. Two minutes to go in round three. Halfway through this third round. <laughs> Minute to go in round three. Floyd keeping his hands rather high. Wants to flip that left lead if he can and shoot that left hook. The left lead is hard to slip. Beautiful jab. About 14, 15 seconds to go in this third round. Man, they're exchanging good left of time. Closing seconds. Getting set for round four. We'll note that Floyd isn't leading. He's forcing the issue, but not leading with punches. He wants to counter the leads of play. <laughs> Harry Krause, the referee, just asked the fellas to keep punching. And he asked play to stop chattering. He wants Cassius to stop talking.
One minute gone so far in round four. Seconds of the fourth round. Many outstanding world heavyweight championship fights here in America. How does this look to you right now? Well, there's no doubt about it, Steve, that all the young people in our audiences will talk about this man as we did, Jack Johnson. He's absolutely incredible. I think it's Jack Johnson and Tommy Burns all over again. He's playing cat and mouse with him, or possum, as you call it here. And it does seem as though Clay has, pro has prophesied exactly what he would do, that he would punish him severely. Patterson's feet seem to be gone. He's, he, he just can't get any coordination going at all. At one time, he turned around there. He tried to flow a combination punch, but failed miserably. And those left jabs may seem as though only flicking, but they're hurting. They're piling up points if nothing else, Reg. Reg Gutteridge of the London Evening News. Thank you, sir. And Reg just compared Cassius Clay with Jack Johnson, and that's a pretty good comparison. We're in round five. Floyd now wants Cassius to come to him. And it looks like he's going to do that, too. about the tail of the tape or the dimension. Clay is six foot three and a fraction, while Floyd is an even six feet tall. And in reach, the reach for Clay is 79 inches, 71 for Floyd. So from the standpoint of dimension, the champion has it all over the challenger. Floyd is asking Clay to come to him.
minute to go on this fifth round. Seconds more, number five. <laughs> Closing seconds of this fifth round. Well, I know we all score this one together. We're one-third in. We're going into round six. Looking at Harry Krause, who has done an excellent job thus far as third man in the ring. And Harry was a good fighter, oh, some 25 years ago, and certainly knows his business inside the ring ropes. The medical man in charge here tonight, very qualified fella, Dr. Donald Romeo. Now it's round six. Looking into, with our close-up, our creepy peepy camera, into Floyd Patterson's corner. He's, he looks good. Little problem around the nose, but seems to be okay. This is number six. champion. Very big. Ten seconds to go in this round. take a knockdown. Mandatory eight count. Mandatory eight.
They're refreshing, Patterson. Clay poured it on in the round six. Threw every punch in the book at him. Harry Krause handled the situation well. Mandatory eight count. We're still looking in at Floyd Patterson. Buster Watson talking. Buster Watson telling Floyd what he wants. Round seven coming up. Sports Vision tonight. Early bird satellite. We're being seen throughout England at this present time. Throughout Europe, South America. And of course, we're being heard on ABC Radio. Our friends, Chris Schenkel. Holly Cosell, Tommy Harmon, and Rocky Marciano are broadcasting this one on ABC. close enough. He wants to unloose those left hooks, but he can't get the shot. Uppercuts are damaging Floyd. And the jabs are offsetting him. seconds to go in this seventh round. <laughs> Uppercut again doing the damage. catching lots of leather, wants to stand in his corner at the end of seven. Ernie Fowler, Al Silvani, Mickey Allen, Buster Watson, all trying to give the guy instructions. Buster's running the corner right now. Silvani's getting him ready. Ten second buzzer has sounded, seconds out. Ready now for round number eight. Jack has played 
just measuring his man. Roy seems to have had a cramp in, in his leg in between rounds. Put a stance, looking to get leverage, looking to tee off. Play with a with a beautiful left jab and left lead. Aiming shots all around the head and all around the body. And Floyd obviously slightly tired at this point. We're halfway through the fight. Halfway or less. With a minute to go on round eight, you'll know how Clay seems to fight with hands down. Gives you a big target, but shoots leather from every angle. Second to go on number eight. Beautiful left lead. More than a left yard. It leads to other punches. going right and then left then in then out a very tough target to gauge Floyd wants to unleash that big bomb with the chance we're in round number nine of the fight for the world title just for 15 Floyd standing his ground, not leading, looking to counter if he gets a chance. I believe that it's Floyd's back that's been bothering We've had a tremendously good show for the crowd here this evening. About 7,000 strong. And the general manager for Intercontinental, Al Boland, put on an excellent show.
Lloyd Hurt with that right hand shot. Buster Watson yelling instructions from batters who can't, but Lloyd can't seem to get off. 30 seconds to go in this ninth round. Raising shot. Lloyd still walking, stalking forward. That's the end of number nine. That's definitely Floyd's back that's bothering him just a little. Buster Watson still talking with him. Al Silvani still trying to help the man. Nine rounds in the record book. Tenth round coming up. Been an interesting fight. Matter of ring style, as we pointed out early. Cassius Clay, the mover. Number ten. Well, did you think it would go this far? Boy's going to give it that do or die all American try in this one. Buster Watson yelling, give it on, Floyd. Give it on. This world champion can fight. In our pre-fight show for Sports Vision, Muhammad Ali told us, and those of you who saw it or heard it might remember that he said, I'm going to whip this man. I'm going to punish him. Floyd Patterson's dead game still carries the big bomb. Still can hit a home run. has all the courage in the world. All the gameness that a fist fighter can take in the ring with him. This man, his opponent, the champion, has all the shots that a fella can want. He can punch from every angle. End of number 10.
number 11. thus far tonight, 10 in the semifinal, where Big Train Lincoln beat Dave Spencer, and now we're in the 11th of the World Championship this fight. Harry Krause talking to the gladiators. with punching power. Floyd has lost only four times out of 48 fights. Has won 44 and dropped four. Clay has a 21 and 0 record. 21 wins in 21 outings. Number 11. fast moves. slow down a little bit but Floyd's still in there and still dangerous power punching all the way and Buster Watson and Al Silvani working on him Dr. Donald Romeo is in the corner at the present time talking with Floyd asking about his back that's the doctor on the outside of the ring apron on the right hand corner of your screen referee Harry Cross was called in now let's see what's happening We've gone through 11. Dr. Romeo talking with Krauss, talking with the corner. He seems to be okay. Harry, Harry, is that okay? Harry Krauss yells yes to us. Floyd's okay. Number 12 coming up. Had 
Anderson, obviously hurt at this point. Beautiful punches by Cassius Clay, the world champion. Beautiful shots all the way. He's finding his mark. Showing heart, showing game is all the way. He's wobbling, he's hurt. He's on the receiving end of good punches all the way. What a marksman, a minute to go in number 12. What a marksman Cassius Clay is. I believe they're going to stop it. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll have Muhammad Ali over in just a minute. Hey, Muhammad, Angelo, Angelo, officer, get Muhammad Ali over. Momentarily, we'll get him over for you. Let's see what we can do. Here's the world champion, Muhammad Ali. Champ, was it a tough fight? I have to say one thing for Floyd. I was doing my best. This I know. And I'm just so surprised <laughs> that he could take so many punches. And I'd like to thank my leader, Amadalaj Muhammad, for the prayers he just gave me. All praises due to Allah for giving him the strength to overtake a crowd booing against me and just beat a man merciful who's a fast, top-notch boxer. Muhammad. Thanks to Allah for the supreme boxing wisdom. All right, Muhammad, did you expect Floyd would go into the 12th round? No, I didn't. I figured the fight would go six or seven. But I wasn't taking no chances. He's a real man. Uh, he didn't fall. I really, I really hit him <laughs> with a lot of punches. With a lot of punches. Uh, did he hurt you at any time? No, he didn't. But I predicted that the way he's been talking about me, that I would give him a good whipping. And I'm so thankful that he did have the power to stand up like he did because that's what he got was a good whooping. All right, now we're going to replay uh, this 12th round if we can, uh, Claire. We, can we do it? In a little while, we're going to replay it for you. Uh, tell us this. Did you feel that you were way out front going into the 12th? Well, I knew I was way out front because I predicted that I would hit him about six times to his miss, and that's exactly what happened. And I think it's time for the boxing public also the American public, to give me the justice that I'm due for actually saying what I would do, which this is the first time in history. All right, now, <laughs> who would you like to fight? We're not going to replay it back because that 12th round was rather slow. Uh, you were finding your target often. Uh, who would you like so to meet? I'll meet anybody. Anybody at all? Yeah. Anybody at all? Anybody. All right. them all. Terrell and two. Terrell. No, hold it, hold it. No hold it. Don't, don't, don't be giving us any clues or any cues. Well, champ, champ, I, I have a book I wanted to give Floyd that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has out. 
so that the American public and Floyd would better understand my religion, and it's called a message to the black men. It's where on is, sale now all over the country. Where is it the now? The book was supposed to be here, well, it's not but here. it's not here now. All right. Uh, <coughs> now we're ready for a playback, and I want your opinion as we look at the monitor, uh, champ. I want your opinion of what you're doing right or wrong, or, or what Floyd is doing right or wrong. Here we go. Let's go into the playback if we can see Well, it. what I was doing right was hitting and not being hit. What he was doing right was getting hit and not hitting. Now, here we go into round number 12. It's our normal playback. No heavyweight in the world has the speed I have. Look at the natural rhythm and grace. Just punching him at wheel. Oh, wait, I weigh about 210 pounds, and just look at those punches. Right, look now. like a heavyweight Ray Robinson. Right. Beating him at wheel. No match whatsoever. What were you attempting to do in this 12th round? Well, in that round, I was attempting to knock him out. Uh, well. Floyd has a hard punch, and uh, he stunned me once. But as you know, with my lean back style, my natural grace and ability, no heavyweight can get in on me. Well, since when do you call it lean back style? Well, Wait, that's my style. Here, here come my friend Floyd. Here you are, here you are. That's my friend Floyd. Let Floyd come in here if he can. Now, wait a minute, let's Floyd go in while we got Floyd's the Floyd's a real man. Wait a minute, come here, Floyd. Hold it. He didn't right. fall. You said you stunned Floyd. Now, hold it, hold it, fellas. Wait a minute. Now we have Floyd with us. Floyd, how do you feel? I know you were game as they make them. Well, just let me say that this is no excuse. Right. But I've had trouble with my back for about I pointed 10 that years. out. I but I would like to say that that's no excuse for what happened tonight. What happened possibly would have happened anyway. Well, well tell me this. I admit Floyd took all I can take, and I was surprised of that. All you could give, you, were, you could, could say. Uh, Floyd, when did the back start hurting? I reported it in about the fifth round. Now, how wrong or right could I have been? Well, I thought you were troubled in the fifth with that ailing back. It started in the... He said he don't want no excuses. No, I'm not giving we don't want no excuses. Catches. No, I'm not. The no, man I'm... was throwing, throwing a lot of punches, and he was moving fast, and I just happened to be right, faster then. than he. Right. He fought a much better fight did you think, than What did you think of Muhammad Ali as a fist fighter? Well, it's no surprise to me, although I did think that I could beat him. Uh -huh. I have stated publicly on many television stations as well as the press. Yes. And uh, Mr. Clay is an underrated fighter. Uh-huh. Uh, the press don't give him credit. And as I said before, I am not ashamed. I don't want him. I'm going to say one thing to the public. Fuck Floyd. Go ahead, Muhammad. Floyd has his reasons for what he think and believe. Yes, but I does. don't want the people downrating him, and I don't want the people looking down on him because he lost. No, he's After a great all, he fellow, said he was a trying to champion. He said he was trying to bring the title back to America, which I say it is in America because I pay about 90% of my money to Uncle Sam. So I consider uh, the America having the title because they take all my taxes. But I don't want nobody condemning Floyd. Wait, 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 Floyd fought a good fight and he took all of my punches. And I dare any man in the ring today to take what he could take. Well, Floyd, any closing statement from you? Well, any closing statement at all? Would you, and if it was not you? for my speed, I would have given in a lot of trouble. Floyd, any closing statement from you? You've yes. been a great gladiator down through the years, in my opinion. Great. Two-time champion and a credit to your race and a credit to the American people. Well, my closing statement, I would like to make to Mr. Clay. Ali, go ahead. Mr. Muhammad Ali. Ali. Muhammad Ali. Ali. Yes. I would just like to say to him that, uh, as I've stated many times before, he has a tremendous amount of ability. He has. He is very fast. <laughs> he has yeah. tremendous left jab. And the people must remember Floyd has gotten just a little age on him. And in his prime, I would know I would have caught a lot of trouble. I don't know if I'll still be going at the age of 31. You must look at that, too. He's been in the ring a little while. You're both modest guys. The great world champion, Muhammad Ali, and a great contender, Floyd Patterson. Gentlemen, we thank you. Floyd just said, great fighter, Muhammad, and I want to thank you. And he's not saying it because you beat him. Muhammad, 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 I want to congratulate you. Thank you very much, Steve. Fist fighter. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it from the ring here at the fabulous convention center where a capacity crowd watched a good fight go into round 12. Round 12 where Muhammad Ali retained his coveted crown, the World Heavyweight Championship. A deserving guy, a good fist fighter, and Floyd Patterson proves to us tonight okay. that he is dead game. And this is Steve Ellis saying, I truly hope you enjoyed it. We here at Sports Vision enjoyed bringing it right to you around the world. And now we're going to just sign off with the fact that, uh, well, good fight. And I know we had a lot of fun bringing it to you. Goodbye, everybody. Uh, Intercontinental Promotions Incorporated was the promoter of this heavyweight championship bout. This telecast has been a presentation 
of Sports Vision Incorporated upon exclusive rights granted by the promoters of this bout, Intercontinental Promotions Incorporated. Any copy or reproduction thereof by sound, picture, or any other device without the expressed written consent of Sports Vision Incorporated is prohibited.